guys, it's me Karen here. Today I'm bringing to you a unboxing. So as you well know, it's almost gardening time, it's almost spring and it's almost time to put our um, uh, flowers and veggies in the garden. And where we live in North Carolina during spring, it rains a lot. And I mean a lot. It rains a lot primarily between the end of March and April time frame. You'll get a lot and it tends to taper off into mid part of May. Um, but last year when we first started gardening, um, I wore tenny, uh, my tennis shoes and they got really messy. And so when I was perusing around YouTube, I noticed that quite a few people already had their wellies or their rain boots or whatever they used. I used to think rain boots were just for the rain. Um, <laughs> I always research what I'm looking for and I ran across some rain boots that I really like and that I noticed had some really good reviews. So I decided to purchase them. Um, Hunter boots. So I wear a larger size shoe um, and um, so normally going to Target or going to Walmart or going any place locally to find my size, either 10 and a half or an 11. And one of my old, one of my daughters that's in the video, she also has, uh, she also wears 10 and a half or 11, which you can't find 10 and a half anywhere. Um, you, you just don't walk into the store and find these shoes. You don't find them. And so you don't just find your size for the most part, uh, unless you're looking for, um, I don't know, just your regular everyday shoe. But in terms of finding rain boots, uh, really good quality ones, mm -mm. Um, I haven't found, not in my area. So I just decided to look online for them and, and saw Hunter boots, but I had seen Hunter boots a long time ago. Um, it's a lady that I follow. Uh, Mimi Thorson, uh, she has a garden, they live in France, and I remember watching her walk through her garden and she had on the knee-high um, hunter boots, and I just thought, oh, that was nice, but I didn't, I didn't put two and two together until this past year. So, I decided, you know what, this coming spring, I was going to have really good quality rain boots to wear in the mud and stuff when we're outside and I don't have to mess up my regular shoes and then have to clean them off, just get some regular rain boots and um, have these rain boots and use them uh, while I'm out in the garden, no matter what. So without further ado, when the box shows up, it says if the seal is broken, please check the contents before opening. Yeah, before accepting rather. So I like that. Um, so that let me know that the box is secure. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I've been looking at Hunter Boots for a couple of years now. Just didn't put two and two together. I just associate that associated them with just walking, walking in the rain. Just walking in the rain. I never really thought like, oh, okay, yeah, um, those boots. You know, I never just, I didn't think about it. And um, until last year when I was using my good tennis shoes and muddling about in the mud. Um, because let's just face it, when you're watering your plants in your garden, everything around it gets wet. And then you have to dig, walk, move through everything. So I was like, this year I'm going to protect my feet. Um, this time the reason why I ordered, also the other reason why I ordered from Hunter Boots was because they had a sale. Now, when I looked online, they said uh, most of the reviews that I read um, with the tall boot, a lot of people had a difficult time with the tall boot in terms of their calf it being the boot being too tight on their, their calf. So it fit well on their foot, the ankle part, but when it came to the calf, it was just entirely too tight. That was some of the reviews. So I took that into consideration and decided instead of getting the tall boot that I would get uh, the shorter boot. And also I ordered uh, the socks that were suggested because I wanted to feel them. Uh, uh, I wanted to feel them and see what they were like um, because when you buy the boot, it also suggests that you buy a pair of socks and tells you that the shoe will be more comfortable if you purchase 
the socks along with it. Also with that being said, the Hunter short boot is normally $144, $145, excuse me. Um, but I purchased, the ones that I purchased, I purchased them on sale. So I managed to find my size, uh, my size for $73. So uh, the boots that I purchased from Hunter Boots are normally $145, but I managed to catch them on sale for 73 and right now there are two pair um, two colorful pair on there that are still $73 um, so so here well the socks are kind of open so these are the socks the boot sock um, so I'll just open it I haven't opened anything it just arrived so I was like let me just open it with you guys okay oh so, okay, so it's, oh, okay, this is what the sock looks like. So it's pretty thick, and it has the hunter emblem on the front. Um, hmm, they're not playing with this. And I wanted the sock so I could see what it felt like uh, to see if I could get a sock locally that costs less. Um, and then I just used that instead of using their sock, but I'm really glad that I did that because they weren't joking. So, okay. And so, obviously the other one is just like it. So I'm just gonna leave that one in the box. It's nice, it's nice. Uh, okay. Um, and here's the box, the Hunter box. It's pretty cool. Just gonna open it. what it looks like the top and by the way I, um, I've read that people go hiking in these boots they use them for running around so I was quite surprised and I hope they are that comfortable um, oh these are nice here's the boot purple and that's what the bottom looks like oh that's so neat I really like the colorful bottom I like color and that's what the inside looks like. Um, have anything else? Oh, it's gonna be tight. Ugh. Okay. The big test is trying it on. So that looks silly. So here are the boots. Um, and I think I'll probably try them on for you guys. And for myself, really. <laughs> I'm really gonna try them on for myself. Because I hope they're comfortable. I really do. I'm just reading the inside of the boot has some information here. Oh, you put your name and phone number inside. Interesting. Okay, guys, so here are the boots. They are so comfortable. And the socks are pretty long. I got them too long, I think, but it's okay. So. They are really comfortable. I'm so pleasantly surprised. And I'm glad I got the shorter ones. They're super heavy. But I really like them. Oh, they look so nice. Hi, guys. So now after trying them on, I will have to say, like, I am really pleasantly surprised. First off, please make sure you get your size. Um, I did turn the camera off for a little bit and march around in them, show the girls, um, and they are really comfortable. I let my daughter, who also wears um, the same size as me, try them on, and we were pleasantly surprised. Because of the price, um, because I, it was on sale, this one was on sale for $73. Because it was on sale, I, and there were two other different colors that were on sale as well, I wanted to order two pairs just to have them, uh, but I didn't want to at first because I wanted to make sure that, you know, um, that the shoe fit comfortably, that it didn't pinch or like it was overly tight or whatever the case may be. But really, really great shoe. Um, nothing's going to get through this rubber. Um, the shoe also has a warranty. 
um, you can send it back. It's not um, uh, so you read on the website for the warranty um, because it is quite specific. Um, but if something damages it because of not of your doing or just punctures the rubber, they will fix it. So that was the other thing. So it is a proper investment um, that if something happens, you can get it replaced or fixed. Um, uh, it is right now. I, I mean, I could literally wear these shoes, like just walk around. I thought they were going to be um, like super tight because um, that's what I've experienced. Uh, super tight. You're ready to get them off as soon as possible. You do need socks. You do need socks, but you don't need these socks. Um, I just want to, like I said before, I just wanted to know uh, what their sock felt like before I, um, so I knew how thick the sock needed to be that I wore with these. Um, the socks are great, but you can, you can buy some socks, um, but you will need a pair of socks, a thick pair of socks when you're wearing this shoe to protect your, the, uh, your toes or your feet on the inside. And also it'll help you get it off your leg when you're done. Um, <laughs> because it, it, once it goes on, it adheres to that sock. Um, so I just think overall, um, right now they're on sale. Some of them are on sale. Um, it's, he it's not so heavy that it feels like there's a weight on your foot. Um, it's really good quality and, and get your size because sizing up, you don't need to size up at all. If I don't need to size, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, if I don't need to size up, no one needs to size up. <laughs> Um, normally I just size up for width or whatnot, but there is, if I had size up or, or what have you, I wouldn't be able to fit, this shoe would just be entirely too big. Um, I will say around this area though, for me, it is a bit big, but that's okay. Um, uh, but yeah, great shoe. I'm, I'm actually, I'm very thankful and glad that I decided to purchase it. And um, I hope to have them around for a while, and I'm ready to get out there in the in the mud and and start gardening. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I'll leave the link in the description area um, for this color because they they still do have it, and it is still seventy three dollars the last time I checked, and. Um, I just think it's an overall great buy, especially if you have a hard time finding rain boots in your size in your area, like I do. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.